What's going on guys? Big Time 110 here. Today, we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Poco X3 NFC. Alright, so with that being said, let's get into it guys. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get the unboxing knife. So, as you can see, it comes in a black and yellow box and I definitely like that. Black and yellow is uh, some of my favorite colors on my favorite team, so... Hopefully you know what team that is. And here are some of the specs that come from the box. I won't go through everything, so if you wanna see it, just go ahead and pause right there. We'll go more into that in the review. All right, let's go ahead and put that aside here. Let's get some of the stuff out. Set. Okay, so here we have uh, what it looks to be like the manual some paperwork and a case nice a clear tpu case not bad hey i like that we get a case right out of the box and here we have the sim ejector tool so let's go ahead and put that aside we're not gonna need it right now and let's put all this stuff that we don't need over here to the left side now let's go ahead and take out the phone Right, there we go now this is cobalt blue it's the only color available that's why I got this one now it does have a good heft to it it doesn't have a cheap feel and inside the box we also get a USB cable which is USB-C and just look at this guys orange with an orange theme that's pretty cool I like that I like that all right, moving on. As you know, this is the international version, so you get a European adapter. As you can see, this won't fit in my US outlet, so it's all good. Go ahead and put this to a side, and let me just let you guys know that it does come with an adapter, so if you do order yours, it'll come with an adapter that looks like this. Now, this monstrosity of adapter looks like this, and it feels cheap and wobbly and loose but it's okay not a biggie we could do with that now let's go ahead and move on to the phone here let's take out the plastic all right throw that to the side there and here it is guys the phone itself you know it's actually pretty good and it has a decent size you know like i like big phones and my oneplus 7 pro Seems to be almost the same size. And, uh, you know, the back feels like kind of like glass. If I'm not mistaken, this is probably polycarbonate like the Samsung Fan Edition, which it doesn't feel cheap. It feels pretty good, but it is a fingerprint magnet, though. Now, let's go ahead and take out the SIM tray so you guys can take a look at it. Here it is. It also has expandable storage, so you could put an SD card there alongside with your sim card and that's pretty cool i got the 128 gig version so just in case i need more storage i could just put a little sd card in there let's go ahead and put the phone into its uh, case all right um hold on guys it's a little damn, it's a little hard there we go and here it is next to the oneplus 7 pro they're almost similar in size but at first glance, you might think that the Poco phone is bigger, but it just seems a little bit taller and narrower. It seems like the OnePlus 7 is wider, but if you notice carefully, there seems to be a little bit more bezel on the Poco phone than the OnePlus 7. So I think that will makes up the height difference. Other than that, the OnePlus 7 Pro feels a little bit more heavier and a little bit more wider. But yeah, guys, this has been a quick unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll have the review soon. And guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.